Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to do an introduction to subscriptions with WebSphere Commerce. Before we begin, don't forget to follow me on my blog, Twitter, LinkedIn, and of course my YouTube channel. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and look at what a subscription looks like in the Aurora storefront. So I'm going to navigate down to our magazines and we're just going to pick the first magazine here, EconoSense. And you can see immediately that this particular item is a subscription with, and you can purchase a subscription period, one or two years. And it's available, and I can go ahead and add that to the cart. So that's kind of like the user interface and the storefront. And what I want to do is um, go ahead and show you, you know, how we set this particular product up. And you can see we've got descriptions, you, we've got customer ratings and reviews, and we've got some other recommendations down the side here. So let's go in to, to Management Center and see how this particular product is set up in the storefront. So here we are in Management Center and we're in the Catalogs tab and what we want to do is go down and look at the magazines. So here is our EconoSense. We're just going to open this up and show you how the product is set up. So it's a regular product. It pretty much has all the same attributes as any other product. Same thumbnail, etc. Images. But what you'll notice is we've marked it as a subscription item. And that enables us to treat this a little bit different. So if we look at the help here, select enable to define different subscription lengths for this product. Example, a monthly magazine can be ordered for one year for $20 or two year for $35. And the way you control the, the different time periods and lengths is just simply through an attribute. So you can see here we've got the payment frequency and period and what we want to do is look at the uh, period attribute and we'll come down here and we'll notice that it's just simply a number one and two and in this case the unit of measure is a year so you can see you have many different options month year week day etc so that is the unit of measure for this particular subscription and we support one year and two year subscriptions. Now, the way you actually define um, the different products for the different uh, time periods is through SKUs. So this is the product, we can right click on it and we can show the SKU list. And you can see here, we have two SKUs and the SKUs have attribute values of a subscription period of one and two. And this is where we would define the price for the different levels of subscription. So you can see here a one year subscription is essentially $31 in US dollars. And if we go to the two year subscription and look at that price, you can see here it's also $31. So we would obviously want that to be higher in the end, um, but in this particular sample data, it's the same price. Because basically, you're going to be charged annually here, so subscription frequency. So you're not getting a discount. However, we could offer a discount if we wanted to. For if you sign up more and more, you get a, a, a lower uh, annual rate. Okay, next what we want to do is we want to set up some events in, um, under marketing. And what I've done here is I've actually created um, one prior and then we'll create one from scratch. So what I want to do here is I'm going to, I'm going to show this by dialogue activities. As you can see I created a new subscription event. And the way this is configured is um, it's a it, it's a new subscription and basically after five days have passed 
It can occur anytime. Uh, we're going to go ahead and send them an email. And the email template is thank you for your subscription. And we're going to issue them a 20% off coupon code for um, their subscription. And we can come in here. Oops, there it is. 20% uh, off subscriptions. So now what I want to do is I want to I want to basically do the same thing if they cancel their subscription. So I'm going to come in and I'm going to create a new dialog activity. And I'm going to call this cancels subscription. And it's just going to be enabled all the time. And the trigger is going to be a subscription event. And we'll check daily. And they've canceled the subscription. And two days later, we'll go ahead and send them an email. And we will put the email here. Let's go ahead and do our search. Okay, they canceled the subscription. And we're basically going to offer them the same code, but with a different email. And I can come in, search, and save 20% off of subscriptions. So now this rule is essentially the same thing. The customer will get a different email, but they'll also get an opportunity to uh, get 20% off their next subscription for 30 days. And if we look at this, we can see here the coupon. It's 20% off. It expires in 30 days, and it only applies to the magazines category. So I can go ahead and save this. And that's pretty much it. And then you would configure your email servers and enable these. I don't have an email server set up, so I'm just going to leave it at that. And that's it. Thank you for watching.